Hey guys, it's Robot Mania. I'm gonna teach you how I solve a two by two by three. So this is just a beginner's method for solving a two by two by three. Well, not beginners, but it's not the hardest method. That one I'll teach you later. So the first step in my methods is to preserve this bar, this entire bar around the equator while you solve the white and yellow spaces, similar to the OBL step on square one. All of these cases are easily solved intuitively, but you can learn algorithms for them to make them faster. So now you're on the last step. The first thing is to check if your bar is flipped. If, you're, if you have a layer solved and your side does not match this side, but this side matches on here, you have a bar flip. To fix that, you just do R2, E2, R2. That's pretty easy but the advanced method uses one algorithm to fix that, and you could probably learn that too. So now we have the super, so now we have the last step. It's just corner permutation. It's kind of like Ortega. It's pretty easy, there's only seven algs. So now it's time for you to learn the advanced method. The first step is the same as the beginner's method. You just solve the faces. It's really not hard. But you don't have to preserve the bar in the middle this time. That will be dealt with in the next step. So in this last step of the advanced method, you would just do one algorithm to solve the rest of the cube. It is a lot of algorithms, but if you want to get fast at this, this is pretty much the only way. So one problem with this method is that EP is hard to recognize, especially on the last step. That can lead to some pauses unless you predict the solve during inspection. So all the algorithms I use to solve this are in the description. This has been Robotmania, thanks for listening to the tutorial, and bye.